This was already a layered haircut. You can see where the weight and the density gets heavier because as you look at this haircut, this part you can't see through. You can kind of see that shift of weight right there. And then underneath here, that's where the layers have kind of removed the weight. I don't want to go in and thin this area of the head anymore. I'm going to take a V shape out of the back. The reason I take this V shape is because the head shape works on a round as well. And I want to stay away from the hairline underneath here. Now I'm going to cut across that low crown area with a horizontal line. And then I'm going to draw another diagonal on this side. I've got the crown of the head out. The reason I want the crown of the head out is because this is the layers that are going to blanket over. This is the bulk that I'm seeing in the haircut. So what I can do here is come in, take a horizontal section. What I'm going to do is I'm going to come in here. I can see that there's not much density in this area. All the density kind of sits in that mid shaft. So what I want to do is I want to come through. I'm going to take the 25 texture side. What it does is it feeds hair into the blade in certain areas and blocks it in others. I want my section about as wide as the tri razor and about mid shaft. I'm just going to glide out of the hair. What's going to happen is that just kind of disappears into the hair. And this is where that bulk is guys. So here, light density bulk gets through that middle. So I come in here, mid shaft to ends, slide through, take out 25% of the hair. And those become kind of seamless layers. You don't even see it throughout. I'm going to move up this section just a little bit. So I'll go about one more half inch, three quarters of an inch. Still got this blanket of hair that's going to fall on the back. Section that away. Grab a horizontal section. Slide through. And then as I look into it, if I see like little bits of these layers that I want to remove, that's when I go into the texture 50 side. Now that 50 means 50% because these teeth are wider and it exposes more of the blade uh, in between each spot. I will use the corner of this as kind of a dry cutting tool. So it's really soft details on the surface of the hair. So now I've got a nice kind of soft result throughout the back, invisible layers underneath that remove bulk, but they don't show through. Um, and then we can move in to the front. Let's work the face frames. If I take a parting down here and basically take out this fringe area, then I'm going to go right above the parietal ridge and I'm going to clip this section away as well. All right. So sectioning here, take out the fringe, take out a little triangle, then come up here, go across parietal ridge and just section that top away. Now you've got only the underneath that you're dealing with. So I'm going to start taking a vertical section, bringing it over to me like this. You could take 50% if they have super thick hair. This is a little bit thinner hair, so I'm going to go 25. I'm going to go through here, remove 25%. We're keeping our length. But if I want to pop a little face frame layering in, then I can go to my 100% cutting side and just kind of work a line and add in just little pieces that go around the face. I'll bring a little bit more over here, just softly cut through. So now we took out some bulk, we got the layers, and then I can take this top part down as well, but I just want to iron it out so you guys can see. And the thing I like about a razor is that it doesn't overcomplicate things. So now I'm going to drop down this top portion, which still gives me length and fullness, but sleeks everything up a little bit. And then just to tie in those little pieces around the face, I'll just softly cut just around the face tiniest bit, it's going to start to debulk the area. So you can see how it goes from feeling super thick over there to now getting nice and skinny. Just removing a tiny bit of weight can make a big difference in see how it kind of drags out there. This just pops a little bit of length up, just kind of works throughout. 